Hey there everyone, That Sexy Nerd is back again, and we're back with Invincible, episode 3. Uh, or... I know, I freaking forgot. <laughs> I've been forgetting uh, to put those up there for my first two videos, but I'll be sure to remember that now. So... We fought a giant sea creature last episode, and we didn't lose our virginity to a fish. Today was a good day. I didn't even realize that until after the episode, after I'd recorded the episode. Imagine if I knew that, <laughs> um, <laughs> right in the video, like, like that, that, that would have just been, I would have made so much fun of that. But yeah, um, I think we're really following the comic books, like, really, really well. So, um... I kind of fig I think I know what's next, but I don't want to spoil it. And if it is, I'm really excited. So let's just get into the episode before I spoil everything. So please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And let's do this thing, y'all. I guess this is it. Time to push my baby bird out of the nest. It's a good oh, thing God. I can already fly. <laughs> you can be okay, right? What? I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Oh, this past year has just been so... Tough? I don't even think that's the yeah. word. My baby boy. My... Okay, okay. Baby bird. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Mm. And don't do drugs. Lady, I don't even think drugs can affect him. Calm down. <laughs> uh, would they even work on me? No. You do not need to find out. Yes, you guys. All he can do is smoke some weed and see and find out that way. Seance that dog. That's really. What are we? Twelve. Hmm. Does that look crooked to you? Help me out here, Mark. You already totally. have a girlfriend, and you're a superhero. Maybe it'll just make you look better by comparison. <laughs> well, maybe. Oh, geez. Magnum T.I. What the fuck is that? Huh. Excellent point. Huh? Got it? Hi, um, there's some stuff out here. Does it belong to you guys? Oh, toys. Uh, they're collectibles. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, just keep them. Just keep them. Don't throw them away, you son of a bitch. No! Mark! No! Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, oh that was adorable. Mark. Yeah, I, I, look at me. I still haven't thrown my toys away. I just gave them to my nephew. Come on, that's what you're supposed to do. Toy Story rules. My roommate doesn't arrive until tomorrow, so... Why? We have the whole place to ourselves. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, like, like right now? I mean, we could. With that, Amber is immediately more likable. Way more likable. <laughs> I bought yeah. these. Okay, good. Good to have those. Yeah, it's actually really good to have those. Wait, you don't have, like, super sperm or something, do you? Technically, he does. It's just not harmful. We'll try with me on top, just to be safe. Sure. Oh, hey. Turn off the lights first. Uh -huh. How'd you do that? Superpowers. And turn our attention to the stars, and a story that began generations ago in this missive, this machination. What? We begin what on this? the planet Unopa. A peaceful and thriving world, the Unopans had achieved harmony oh, with nature Alan and technology. I didn't even remember the race of um of Alan the Alien, and yet I, I was like, Unopa. So what, one eyes? <laughs> Until everything changed in the blink of an eye. Jesus Christ. Like a plague of unequal potency, a dark force invaded Unopa. Viltrumite. All was not lost. Ever resourceful, 
some Unopans were able to escape, abandoning their home for the stars. You have our deepest sympathies, Marvin of Unopa. The Viltrumite campaign has become the scourge of the galaxy, Ooh. and we stand united against it. I am Optimus Prime, and I send this message to any surviving Autobots taking refuge among the stars. We are here. We are waiting. If you wish to help, we would be happy to join your coalition. Optimus Prime has finally come. <laughs> uh, we will never let them take over our planet. <laughs> that the breeding camps were also a genetic enhancement program designed to breed a soldier that could defeat a Viltrumite in combat. Alan. He was the first and only success. From the day he was born, Alan was trained to be the greatest fighter the universe had ever known. But while stronger than most of the universe, Alan still couldn't match even a single Viltrumite in combat. Alan was made a planetary evaluation officer and sent to discover any being able to defeat him in hope of finding an ally strong enough to withstand a Viltrumite. Because sometimes, to change the entire universe, you have to be... <laughs> yes. You found the right planet this time. Uh -huh. Yes, I found the right planet. Sure, but that's not Most really... of our agents don't make so many astronavigational mistakes. Listen, Sparky, is it still a mistake if it ends up saving the universe? Yes. yes. We need more allies. And they're making it very difficult. That's She-Hulk again? What news, Alan of you know? Hey! <laughs> Did you warn the Earth Champion that a Viltrumite lives among his people? Yeah, I did, but it turns out he's a Viltramite too. His name is Mark, and he's only half Viltramite. He didn't even know what a Viltramite was until recently. What? How is that possible? No one told him, I guess. When he got his powers, all he wanted to do was help other humans. Then his father decided it was time to conquer the planet, so they, they got in a fight about it. Viltramite against Viltramite. That has not happened since the Great Purge. And get this, after they fought, his dad left, like left the planet, disappeared completely. We could never trust one of them. Oh, Mark isn't like other Viltramites. He just wants to protect his world. He's a good guy, not a conqueror. So far. For years, we've been searching for a hole in the Viltramites' armor. Exactly. This could be it. Viltramites never abandoned their missions. Yet, one has. A son defies his father. These are weakness. We will call on you again soon. Thank you, Great Thetis. Thank you, Optimus Prime. Honor to serve. Alan, a word? Hmm. Of course, wise Thetis. Now roll out! I find it convenient and... You want me to Spine. discover if someone's betrayed us? Continue to prove yourself the Coalition's most valuable asset. There's a mole, I'll find them. Oh, this is so good. This is probably the best episode so far already. I missed you. Yeah, how much? The most. Or like ten times that amount. Oh, goodness. Uh, tentacles. Ooh, that was some nightmare fuel. What are the tentacles used for? No. I don't know how you eat cans lock. It's disgusting. He doesn't think so. Oh my god, what the hell? I thought the shit that they eat in Star Wars was weird. Like, have you seen The Mandalorian? That was worse. That was much worse. No matter how far I travel, Telescria is still the most beautiful planet I've ever seen. There's hundreds of planets that look exactly like it. Sure, but only one has you. Thetis thinks there's a mole, and I am supposed to- Alan! 
Is that a ghost from Wales? What the? Look at her! It's Hula! Oh, fuck. You will tell us everything about your encounter with the Viltrumite of Earth. I mean, not technically a question if... <laughs> Are you certain he abandoned his post? Who told you that? I mean it! I'd really like to know! Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do, buddy? Where is the father now? Father? Which one was he again? You Pyclops all kinda look the same to me. Oh! oh, oh, oh. This whole thing that should be like that, 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 don't kill me, should only make me stronger. <laughs> wow, damn, he got fucked up. Oh, <clears throat> great, Cadus. It may not seem like it, but that is cause for celebration. They once again underestimate the inopen will to survive. Yeah. I know you and Alan are special to one another. I will watch over him. Whoa, what? What the hell is this? No! Give me Alan. What the hell that is? Oh, oh, I know. Come on, push it, Kate. Push it. Are we gonna talk about this? Oh, or is it just yourself. gonna be awkward forever? Go fuck yourself. Uh, the second one? Even if that was true, you were cheating on Eve with me first. <laughs> okay, but that worked out in your favor. Not that I have to justify anything to you ever, but if you add up the amount of time my duplicates and I have lived, we are probably the same age. <laughs> oh, okay, no okay, sense. so. Fine. The Immortal's the only person I've ever met who's died as many times as I have. But it means something. He gets it. Oh. Very. And Rex doesn't. Oh, hello, chums. I'd like to run while remaining in a stationary location. Is that cool, Beans? Where are you from? <laughs> For real, where are you from? <laughs> Go ahead, Shapesmith. I love how technically Rex is the smartest person here. <laughs> oh boy. I'll just be over there, in a stationary location. Oh my god, Sonic. Would you, you're too slow. This has been about as much fun as eating a light bulb. <laughs> oh, Monster Girl, you're not ready for some weirdness. Hey, Mozart, what's all this? I, it's Strauss, actually. Is that a brain? It's his brain. Is that your brain? Yes. Uh, yes. What is exactly is stopping him from just staying here, working on a computer while controlling the robot suit? Like you can multi dextrize now. You can, you can basically be Bat Bruce Wayne from Batman Beyond. What well, what is the problem here? Fear is an extraneous emotion that serves no real purpose for someone like me. I strongly disagree, true. but I guess you'll find out the hard way. Yeah. Have fun next time you fall off a cliff or something. Oh my god, that's true. Amanda, fear hasn't just made me useless in battle. It's prevented me from doing something else I've wanted to do for quite Wait, some time. Her. Will you go to a movie with me? Aww. Movie? Oh, <laughs> sure, sure, Rudy. I'll I'll go to a movie with you. We're not that different from other support groups, except we're even more strict when it comes to identity. First names only. You aren't required to share till you're ready, but that's why we're all sacrificing a Tuesday night. So might as well make the most of it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lucinda. Hi, Hi Lucinda. Lucinda. Jesus, Lucinda's having a cigarette. 
She's like, this bitch. Hey, don't take this the wrong way, but there's a bar down the street some of us like to go to after group. Sure. I could use a drink. It's, uh, it's kind of a dive. <laughs> the best ones are. <laughs> never? Of course I've watched films, but no, I've never attended one. Someday you'll have to tell me all about your childhood. Oh, we're already seeing a horror movie tonight. <laughs> it's fine. They're my kids. They can see the movie. What the hell? What? You want to do a DNA test now? Oh, how? how the hell? This might be your first movie, but it's not mine. You'd be surprised what people will do for 10 bucks. Oh, what? Wait, wow. if this is your bucks? first movie, what other normal stuff haven't you done? This is supposed to be appetizing? <laughs> so it's the guy who used to eat food through his butt. That's not how it entered through my... Uh, yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> is it appetizing now? Um, mm. I know these aren't good for me, but... Mm. It's so good. Oh, shut up. A good burger and fries is one of the greatest pleasures in life. Yes, um, I'm discovering that. <laughs> oh, we fly to Tokyo uh -huh. and back on a Wednesday night. Oh, what a Christmas Eve. We even made a snowman at the North Pole. My son cried when he didn't see Santa's workshop, so we told Aww. him we'd gone to the South Pole by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Year, and I still reach across the bed for her every morning. Alana? Alana. You mean? Yeah. She was the green ghost. Oh. Guess I just broke rule number one of SOS. Oh. Not that it matters now, since she got murdered by that alien psychopath. And that was uh, her husband. I didn't know she had a partner. Poor lady. I need to use the restroom. Are you okay? No, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my God, you had sex with Amber. Whoa, what? what? William. How was it? I want all the details. Uh, Gross, no. No way, no. But I'm kind of still screwed up about what happened to Rick. Uh, I always imagined we'd be here at Upstate together. Cecil so said he's doing better. Sorry, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. That's somebody ready no. for round two. No. Coming, Ambers. I bet you did. Mark Grayson. Oh my god. <laughs> I know who it is. I know who it is. <laughs> Oh, it's for you. <laughs> it's it's Mark sand Grayson. Dog, yeah. I need your help. <laughs> That's me. It's not. What the fuck? Close the door. Mark! Please! You don't understand! There it is. I'm sorry. My disguise was meant to disarm you. Mm -hmm. I thought if I appeared as something you loved... Disarm me for what? Please, I'm not a threat. My name is Nualza. I am from the planet Thraxa. My people sent me to plead for your help. How do you know who I am? Rumors of the one they call Invincible have spread like wildfire. Your speed, your strength. You are the only one who can save our people from the meteor showers destroying our world. What the New fuck? Nualza came you? all the way here from... To beg for your help and you're too busy? Oh, 42 billion. Damn. Don't worry about your classes. I'll cover for you somehow. Why do you care so much? Because he's your best because friend. Because last time you didn't want to help someone, we both regretted it. <sighs> we believe in you, Mark Grayson. My heart. You can't just go to some random planet with some random alien. Are you insane? Oh, it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> you work for me here on Earth. This is an order. Do not go. I need to listen to myself before I listen to you. Your father felt the same way. Stop being manipulative. And I'll check in when I get back. Oh, Amber. Oh, no. Hey, you. How's it going? Hey, come to your window. <gasps> Mark? Uh, I have to go away for a few weeks. Right now? A lot of people are going to die if I don't. I'm sorry, but no, I... No, stop, stop. Don't apologize. Never apologize for saving lives. This is the deal, and I'm good with it. Go. Thanks. Be careful. I love you. Always. 
Amber, I, uh... Um, I love you. Yeah? I love you. Yeah! What? Oh, shit. I can't heal because my husband's not dead. Because he murdered Alana and the other guardians and almost killed my son, too. Your husband's Omni-Man. I thought he was Nolan Grayson, but that wasn't true. The last 20 years of my life have been a lie. I swear, I this guy was loses. Dead. I wish I could grieve and move on, but I can't. I, I can't. I wish he was dead too, but not for your sake. You shouldn't come back to the group. Wouldn't be a safe space with you there. I didn't know. I didn't know Don't who he was. Don't apologize to this fucker. Don't apologize. You should have. Don't apologize to this asshole. Don't apologize. The jerk. Apologize. Invincible? The night. What the fuck? Invincible? Huh. We're here. What? Oh, we're doing this now? Oh, we're doing this now? The monarch wants to meet you at once. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where are the meteors? Meteors? What meteors? The ones that are killing billions? It's not. Oh, but... yeah, those meteors. You know, must be a touch of dementia. We age much quicker than you humans, you know. Uh, don't worry, the monarch will explain all. May I present Invincible of Earth? Yeah, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Hello, son. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Woo! Dad? Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it! Oh. So, like I said, we're basically following the comics. I, I knew this is how this was all going to play out, and I'm so happy it did. I was like, I, I was scared that they were going to pull something, like, different out of there. But, yeah, we're here, and Nolan is here, and... <laughs> And the story is just about to get that much better. And I, like I said, I think what they're doing is they're going to cut in the middle of this and end it at um, the, like, you know, they're going to do a two-parter of this season, which why, but whatever. This season is going to be fantastic. And I'm so happy about that. So, um. <laughs> Oh yeah, and but that honestly, this was a bet. This is again, this is the best episode of the season so far for me. Better than the first episode. Better than the second. This is this is the best one so far. Um, we we had some real character studies with them. We had Rudy and 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 uh and Monster Girl hanging out. Um, it that was actually really interesting and seeing him finally experiencing things for the first time. It was really cool. Um, and. Rex again. I, I like how much attention we're playing to Rex because, you know, we're we're gonna have to deal with some drama with him later, and I can't wait. I hope the next special is going to be with him because he has a story to tell. He really does, and you know, yeah, I hated him in season one, but I'm telling you, we're gonna we're gonna feel for him by the uh by when oh, <laughs> I can't spoil it, but yeah. Um, and yeah, the whole thing with Alan the alien, Thaddeus, like, did he kill him? Did he not? <laughs> I mean, Thaddeus, Thaddeus, apparently they call him Thaddeus. I like Thaddeus better, honestly. Um, and <laughs> Optimus Prime, again, that's another reason why this episode was so damn good. Um, <laughs> it's just, just such a great time all around. But what'd you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, please, smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I'll see you on the next episode.